Greetings once again, pathetic Earth humans. Welcome back to Sky Factory. So, last episode we uh, made a lot of progress. We got our Zavikio infused armor, so we've got uh, flight and all kinds of other bonuses. Uh, step assist, no fall damage, underwater breathing, um, and we have crafted ourselves a crossbow. So, but I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a couple of quick upgrades to that crossbow, uh, namely, we want to uh, craft ourselves a ball of moss, let's grab our chisel, and grab some smooth stone, and let's see, well, I think we need like nine pieces of uh, mossy stone, we'll just make a whole bunch of it, and I'll stick those in our crafting table. And we'll grab ourselves a ball of moss. And that's going to give us the uh, auto repair upgrade. So we see we've got the moss. Uh, let's make a couple more just, just for the hell of it. We've got other tools we'll be making in the future that we'll uh, use this moss on. Yeah, we can put uh, two levels on there. And that's about it. So we've got that. Let's uh, see if, uh, yeah, once these tools are upgraded to higher levels. Oops, I didn't want to grab that stupid sword. Once these tools are upgraded to higher levels, you can, uh, you can put additional levels on there. So let's, let's see what else we can upgrade. Get a little quicker uh, auto repair going on these guys. We can go up to uh, level 6 on that one. Hey, the more the better. Let's, uh, let's craft up some more of this uh, mossy stone. We'll make uh, shit tons more balls of moss. And, uh, Upgrade everything we can to as high a level as we can. And that's it for our anal probe. We get a few more levels on our pickaxe. Yeah, that gives us an auto repair 7. I think we already did that one. Yeah, so that's uh, that's going to work for now. We'll put this ball of moss in our Tipper's tool box and see, put that mossy stone away. So I think uh, I think we're pretty good. Uh, we could add some more, you know, upgrades to this. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just keep uh, shooting and uh, killing stuff with it and see what kind of uh, you know, random uh, upgrades we'll get with it. Uh, we're at a depth level already. Uh, it's like we've got life steal. I think that just transfers uh, health to you when you kill a monster if your health is reduced. Uh, we got sharpness and oh yeah, that's another thing. I think we can add some sharpness upgrades. We've got uh, yeah, we've got a full barrel of uh, quartz here. When you add uh, the quartz to these tools, you get a. Uh, a sharpness upgrade. Uh, apparently we can't do that on our anal probe at the moment. Let's see what else we can add a sharpness upgrade. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can add a couple to our crossbow. Then you can go ahead and fill all three of these uh, upgrade slots. We'll put it in there. Uh, I'm not sure how much the, the uh, sharpness affects the actual crossbow itself. I think it has more of an effect on the, uh, the actual bolts, but uh, okay, well, we'll go as high as we can with this. So it goes to uh, several levels. Yeah, we'll use 
use quite a bit of this quartz. Um, I think if we if we take this quartz, yeah, let's take a stack of it and make uh, quartz blocks out of it. Oh no, I guess uh, we just need the two by two for that. Then it should uh, add the levels a little a little quicker. So we got it up to 70. Let's uh, use just the uh, broken down quartz to get it to the full 72 there. And uh, let's do the same on, on our bolts. And this will make them more pokey, more damagey. Once we get to 48, then it uh, goes to the next level, so we'll keep going until we get to 96. The anvil sound is quite annoying. Let's see how much higher we can go. I believe when you get to uh, higher experience levels with these, it will unlock higher levels of the uh, upgrades. So it's a good idea to come back, check your tools now and then, see if there can be any further upgrades done to them. So, yeah, so we've got uh, plenty of sharpness now on our bolts. We'll put this quartz away. And let's see, uh, we'll just, while we're in the neighborhood, we'll charge up our convenience items here we will put our chisel away yeah let's see I think what I'd like to do today um, let's come up and we'll sleep until morning what I'd like to do today is I'd like to get a start on uh now yeah, let's take a look here I'm gonna start making some of this compressed cobblestone and uh let's see oops and there's a uh, several uses for this stuff uh what we want to make is uh some bedrockium ingots and uh, the reason we need these bedrockium ingots is so that we can make the uh watering can we want to make this reinforced watering can and it's going to require four of these bedrock ingots also a soul fragment um, uh, we're going to have to uh, make use of our division sigil and we'll have to uh, what we're going to do I think is uh, build a space to do the uh, the ritual uh, maybe somewhere over in this direction, you know, have it away from our base. Uh, we'll um, be able to activate our division sigil. And uh, once we do that, uh, we'll uh, be able to uh, um, get a whole lot of, uh, I think, uh, uh, not tainted soil, but uh, cursed earth. So we'll be able to generate some cursed earth blocks. A uh, great thing about those is... Uh, we can uh, line the floor of our mob spawner over there with the uh, cursed earth, and it will it will uh, vastly increase uh, the the speed at which uh, mobs spawn. Mob spawns like like crazy on that cursed earth, so that's going to give us more drops from our mob farm. It's going to really kind of supercharge that. But uh, we're going to need an animal to sacrifice in order to do that, so we'll have to build our uh, our little field of grass. Uh, first uh, to spawn some passive blobs, some animals, and uh, but before we get started on that, while we're building that, I like to get uh, this uh, industrial circuit for uh, producing the bedrockium going first. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to uh, we're going to need a lot of cobblestone for that. So we got a couple buckets here. Grab a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, and uh, 
Let's grab a couple stacks of cobblestone. We will need a transfer node. Um, I believe we're going to have to craft ourselves another barrel. Oh, we've got a few barrels in here. So we'll use one of those. And let's see, what else do we need? Uh, some transfer pipe. We'll just uh, need maybe one of those. And uh, let's grab a bunch of uh, item conduit here. Yeah, I like to build uh, a dedicated cobblestone generator for, for this process. Um, we're just going to be using the uh, auto packagers to uh, make the compressed cobblestone. So, um, why don't we, uh, in fact, why don't we go ahead and craft those up first. I believe we're just going to need four auto packagers. I keep hitting that stupid sword. So, auto packagers. Let's see what we need. Uh, we need crafting tables, we need some pistons. Oh, gold and redstone. Let's, uh, let's make these coils first. Yeah, look at the recipe again. We'll make four of those. Uh, let's see, do I have any... Pistons. I guess I don't have any pistons, so let's grab a little bit of oak here. Uh, I think we need some iron. Grab some iron ingots. And we're going to need uh, about, about a dozen of these guys. And 12 of those. And crafting tables, we will need four of those. And there's our four auto packagers we're going to need. I believe uh, five chests for this, so I'll we'll grab five chests out of there. Put some shit away. Put that shit away, put that shit away, and sort our inventory. Oh, and we're also going to need some barrels to store this stuff. Uh, or actually, perhaps we won't need the barrels to store the, uh, the output from this. The uh, compressed cobblestone is all gonna... Um, let's take a look. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we make the compressed cobblestone. Those, uh, when there's nine pieces of that, it will transfer into the next chest where the next auto packager will compress that into double cop uh, double compressed, and we go to triple compressed, and quadruple compressed, and those will just dump into the last chest there. So I think, uh, first off, let's uh, build our cobblestone generator right here. I think I'm going to do what we've done over here. And just uh, use some of these, um, yeah, some of these uh, micro blocks to surround it. So let's just, uh, we'll just grab some regular glass. We'll grab our, where's our saw? Oops, and we are going to chop this stuff down. Make a bunch of these, uh, you know, glass uh, panels or covers. If you, if you uh, chop them down all the way, yes, you just get the covers, and they're very nice, thin little hooks of glass for which to surround our cobblestone generator. Keep it nice and compact. So, now we can get started building this thing. So, we'll just, uh, let's see. This will be the generated piece of cobblestone right here. So, all we need to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and break that. We'll just put a full piece of cobble there. Grab some of our glass panels. 
Yeah, we'll put a hunk there. And yeah, this is so much easier building things now when we can fly. We don't have to build any kind of access walkways or anything like that. And just make sure that you put these panels on the outside, which is why I had to place a block there. If it's on the inside, then uh, you need a full block's worth of space in here to hold this, uh, this uh, um, block of lava. Same goes with uh, the water over here. We'll place a block. And as we can see, if we point it in the middle, it'll place it right there. We don't want that. If we point at this section, it will go inside. So what we want to do is we want to point it at this little side wedge here on this block. So the cover is actually outside of that block region. And we'll do the same over here. And just like that. Yeah, I'm going to toss a block on top of here so we can put covers on top side here. Let's uh, dump our water. Yeah, we'll put a little cover over that. And that will be our cobblestone generator. That uh, piece of wall there will we'll hold that uh, in place. Just, uh, no, we don't need it. We got plenty of light from this lava block torch up there anyway. And now we'll grab our transfer node. We do need the world interaction upgrade. Before that, we'll harvest many things. Do we have one now? Now, fortunately, saved a couple of these, uh, Iron pickaxes from the mob drops. Uh, I think, uh, what do we need? We need lapis. And, uh, perhaps some iron. Get low on iron over there. Let's go grab a couple stacks. We'll use lots of it. Let's see, world. Interaction. And, uh, yes. Oh, and again. Uh, it seems these uh, NEI won't automatically enter these recipes into your crafting table. I think it has something to do with uh, items like uh, tools, like pickaxes and things like that. They just won't don't seem to want to en enter in there. Um, in fact, I'm going to use our crafting station instead because uh, I'd like to put quite a few of these upgrades in there so we're gonna craft up a few more iron pickaxes just so we can make this uh this cobblest generator super speedy uh, it takes quite a while for the multiple stages of uh crafting the um the compressed cobblestone so the more of these we have the better And, of course, I did the recipe backwards. That's all right. I always do that. And then we'll just uh, put these guys in one at a time. I guess uh, five of these will, will probably make it plenty speedy enough. Uh, we'll see if, uh, if we need more. We'll come back and make... Some more, we've got plenty of them. And we'll grab our barrel. We'll just plop that guy right on top here. Let's uh, lock her down. And uh, place some cobblestone in there. Put our world interaction grids in there. And yeah, it's uh it's going pretty pretty quick there. I think uh now we can start building this production line, so so the first stage is just uh let's see if I have enough room here. Maybe we'll start uh or let's see, let's grab our 
auto packager, so chest, auto packager, chest, auto packager, chest, auto packager. Yeah, in fact, uh, we'll move it all over one more block. We'll just start from this end. This will be our final chest. Chest between the machines. We can just break that and toss a chest down there. That'll hold that water block in place. Now again, these auto packagers will simply search for uh, items to the left. Any items that it finds it can craft into the grid. Uh, it will craft those items and it will deposit them in the next chest. So, we're going to shift to left click and switch these all to 3x3 three three crafting mode. Now, all we really need to do is I grab some of this item conduit. Whoops. I said grab it, not throw it away. And we're going to set to insert, and I like to use, always use the dark gray channel. When it comes to cobblestone. And that's not going to connect because it's the wrong color. We'll switch that to dark gray. And there we go. So now we're receiving cobblestone in the chest here. They'll be auto packaged and that's sent along the line. But that's not going to happen until we provide some power to this, to these uh, auto packager machines. So let's uh, put some stuff away. I guess we didn't need any of this transfer pipe. We'll put our glass away. And we'll grab the energy conduit. And it appears uh, we've got energy coming out here. Now that we have the wonderful power of flight, we can come underneath it, I think, and uh, we'll just bring our conduit out into the back. And uh, why don't we just, uh, we'll just cut out these uh, blocks underneath. And power them from there. Yeah, one of the things I really like about this Zavikio armor, as opposed to Flight with the, uh, with the Jetpacks mod, is this is just like true creative mode Flight. Have you noticed, you know, when I'm hovering, I don't drop. Even with the Jetpacks, you drop just ever so slowly, you start to fall down when you hover. Uh, even with the highest tier Jetpack, you still kind of slowly drop. So when you're working on these conduits, and you want some kind of accuracy to stay in place, uh, you need to, uh, you know, literally stay in place and, and not, uh, fall when you hover. And, uh, while you're in flight, if you want to, uh, um, work with the uh, wrench here, which requires you to hold the shift key, which also with your flight mode makes you fall. Um, pretty simple to, the way around that is to just hold both shift and the space bar and that will uh, allow you to use the uh, shift mode on your wrench without uh, falling. So that should be everything we need to get this uh, system going and we can see we're getting compressed cobblestone over here, we're getting double compressed over here, already got one piece of triple compressed and uh like I say, it, it takes quite a while, so, you know, each stage, uh, this is going to require, you know, nine pieces of, uh, compressed cobblestone to make the next stage. This is kind of a, sort of an exponential, uh, requirement there to, to get to that point, so. 
That's why I want to get this started early, give it a little bit of time. Yeah, we've got two pieces of triple compressed. Um, we'll look at the uh, bedrockium ingot recipe. We're going to need four pieces of this stuff, so yeah, we're going to need uh, you know, four diamond blocks. But uh, it's a combination of triple compressed and quadruple compressed, so... As we can see over here, we've got the triple. We're just going to let all of this craft into quadruple compressed. And uh, um, you can disconnect this stage once you've got your uh, enough pieces of that. And just uh, allow this to um, just end at the triple compressed. Or uh, if you just craft them all into quadruple compressed, you just take those quadruple compressed uh, blocks, put them in a crafting table, and they will break down into the lower stage triple compressed cobblestone, so. So I think we're good with that. Now, we we'll put some of this stuff away, and it is way high time that we got to work building our field of grass and spawning some passive mobs. So I think what we're gonna do is, uh, we've got crap tons of cobblestone in here already. I'm gonna grab a lot of this cobblestone slab and uh, let's throw this wood in there. Yeah. I think now we're ready. We've got to go. This is about 25 blocks away from spawn. This, uh, this block right here in the wall is our original spawn point. I think we're going to have a, a plenty of space here, so let's see. I think the way I'd like to do this, uh, I think first of all, let's go grab some. And yeah, we've got, uh, I think, enough stairs for now. We'll grab some of this wall that we have at the moment, too, and I think might be a good idea to uh, craft up a, a crafting table and place it up there. I like to have crafting tables in uh, different spaces, different areas around here. So I think uh, probably right about here I'd like to build a stairway going up. So. Let's see, we'll just come around the corner here. We'll break out a couple blocks. No, we probably didn't need to break that one. In fact, I want that to come around. And yeah, we'll start to facing stairs here. We can break these blocks out after our stairs are in place. We'll just put them in temporarily. Get us where we need to go. Go stair, 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 stair. There. And uh, let's grab some of these slabs. So, yeah, I think from here we'll start building our walkway um, out to our field of grass. Uh, one thing I would like to do, though, is uh, with the uh, fluid, cows, fluid cows mod in here, I'd like to uh, be able to capture some of those fluid cows, you know, put them in separate pens, and we're going to uh, ranch the fluids from them and store them in uh, drums. So, we're going to make a space for that before we build our field of grass. I always like to put a few extra of these fences just to prevent from uh, walking off the edge. 
when you're coming down these stairs. Sometimes it's very easy to you know, jump onto the, the fence and fall to your doom. But we don't have to worry about that so much anymore. We've got our Ezekiel armor. And we have flight, so... Let's take these temporary blocks out. I'll leave that one at the bottom. And we'll put inverted stairs underneath just because it looks nice. And there we've got our little stairway leading up. So we're going to come across here. Once we've uh, made our division sigil and activated it, uh, will be another useful thing. We'll be able to get the builder's wand. But we're going to have to craft some of this unstable ingot stuff. And it's uh, very, very, very explodey. So, oops, wrong block. So that will make a fun episode when we uh, blow ourselves to uh, little tiny pieces of alien goo in our attempts to craft unstable ingots. So we'll just build a big platform. Here is going to be, you know, just sort of a dividing space. Uh, right about here. I think will be a good place for us to put our uh, ender pearl farm when we build that. So we come around here. Let's see. And uh, I wonder how much dirt. I think we should have close to. Uh, A full barrel of dirt, do we? No, we've only got seven stacks of dirt. Um, probably enough for what we're going to need, though. We'll come back up here. And we should probably enable our F7 key to and make sure we're we're uh, taking care of our lighting up here. I'm going to take this piece of fence or wall down. And uh, let's see. We'll make this feel nice and big. For now, I want to leave a little bit of a buffer zone here. Maybe about four blocks. And uh, I think we'll start the pens right about here. So we're going to need, uh, I think, a three by three pen spaces with uh, walls between them. So seven spaces each. And let's see, we'll mark these out with torches. Or we'll just put some walls down, so. One, two, three, space, divider, one, two, three, space, divider, one, two, three, space, divider. That'll give us four pins, which I think will probably be enough, so actually I think I built a little bit too much here. And hey, we just got an upgrade, a plus one mining upgrade on our pickaxe. Wonderful. So, we'll come around this way, and let's see how big we should we should we build this. I think our pins 
Again, we're going to be 3x3, three three, so we'll come 1, 2, oops, 2, 3. We get out of there. And then this will be the outer fence. We'll put gates in here so we can access these uh, these pinned in areas. We'll just uh, put four, maybe hay blocks on the, uh, the floors in there. Take that down. And let's uh, put a wall of fences here. We'll mark these out so we know where the, the pins are going to be. So we'll have three pins there. Maybe three rows of pins. You know, we can have maybe a total of nine animals. So, and we want to leave a little bit of a walkway in between. So, I'm going to go, oops, wrong block again. Stupid alien. We're going to go one, two, three, and then four. We'll start the next set of pins. And we need one, two, three, four. So we've got a walkway here, another set of pins. Let's do another three wide walkway. And then this will be our last row of pins. And I think actually on the borders of all of these I like to use the full cobblestone blocks. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take these guys out then. Replace them with uh, full blocks. I don't know why, I just like my borders to be full blocks. They're good for uh, running your conduits and we can uh, cover them with the conduit facades. So they look nice and pretty on the outside. Okay. Starting to get a little dark. And, yeah, I think we better put some torches down. We'll just hit the top of these uh, fences here. I think a lot of these uh, top side slabs uh, don't always show the uh, X's on them. So it's, uh, it's important to make sure you've uh, got adequate lighting here. The uh, bottom half slabs, like like we've shown before, um, mobs won't spawn on them, but I believe they will spawn on these top half slabs, even though the slabs don't show the uh, that there are uh, spawnable areas there. It's important to remember that. And we went one too far, didn't we? That's okay. So let's see what we got here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We got about a nineteen wide area. Let's come out maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. <laughs> Almost fell into the void again. Throw a couple torches down here. So, what do we see? 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, we'll just make this about 9 deep. 
We can expand it later if we want. Sometimes it's a little tricky to lay blocks when you're floating around so much with this uh, armor. You gotta wait till you uh, stop. So let's start putting these uh, dirt blocks down. Throw a couple more torches down just for good measure here. And uh, so this will be our field of grass. Um, one of the things I like to do, uh, not that we have to concern ourselves with if we uh, break any of these blocks for some reason, they will fall into the void. But uh, of course, we've got our electromagnet, we don't have to worry about that. But for some reason, I just don't like looking at the bottom side of dirt blocks. So I like to put a layer of these uh, half slabs underneath just to kind of finish it off and make it look nice. Yeah, we ran short. So let's just uh, lop our crafting table down over here for now. And we'll make up a few more of those slabs. And while we're at it, let's make an ungodly crap ton of wall. And we'll uh, finish the wall off around all of these areas. And while we're at it, we might as well uh, place some dirt blocks down. I like to use the hay blocks uh, once we've got enough of those from, from our mob farm. Looks like I went uh, one too narrow here. No, that's all right. So I guess we will just go ten wide on our dirt part. If we make sure these are all separated from the rest, we can uh, use vein miner. Get those all at once. Let's lay one more row of dirt. Throw another torch down. Come underneath and get these half slabs in there. We're short a few over here. Let's get those guys in. And we'll finish off our border here. And we can uh we can finish building these other pens, uh row of pens in the center and on the side. We can do that later. For now. Like, we really just want to get this, get this uh, field of grass going. And we'll come back later and probably in this, uh, on both of these walkways that are going to be right here and right here, we'll put a couple of, couple of gates in there. And let's, uh, put some torches down. I'll come in uh, between episodes, maybe, and uh, I'll put more 
torches down, uh, even them out, maybe throw, throw down a couple of glowstone blocks here, but, so, that's all good. Now, we just need grass. So, let's come and find our grass seeds. Or, actually grab them. And our water can. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We just uh, throw down a grass seed. Watering can. And look how quick that all spreads out. And we can, uh, we can come in here too and, uh, throw some bone meal down. Get some, uh, some other different types of seeds that we haven't yet received from our sieving processes. I think, uh, uh, we'll save the rest of these grass seeds for now. Um, I can speed this up and go ahead and use those grass seeds, but uh, we only seem to get those when we sieve dirt. And since we're not running a dirt sieving process right now, we'll, we'll save those guys. We'd have to go back and sieve some dirt to get more. We'll continue spreading this grass. And once we've gotten this whole field covered with grass, we we'll start seeing some... Uh, some animals showing up. And we'll have more things for which to anally probe and dissect and otherwise do a horrifying, awful experiments on. Because that's what we do. That's what our mission is. And sweet, there's our field of grass. I'll finish the rest of this uh, construction off camera. For now, I think uh, we're good. We just need to uh, come back away from that a bit and uh, allow animals to spawn. They won't spawn if we're in the area. So, let's see, let's put some of this stuff away. Now, once we do manage to, to get to a couple of the fluid cows that we'd like to get, let's put this dirt away. We're going to want to save those guys. So, I think, uh, first of all, let's grab ourselves a chest. And, uh, you know, the way we keep the animals we want to keep from despawning is with... These guys right here, these uh, Jailer Safari Nets. Anything you pick up with the Jailer Safari Net, once you uh, place it down somewhere else, that will prevent that uh, mob from despawning. So, I'm not, I'm not sure, I believe it's a, I think it's just a one-use item, but you know, we've got plenty of them, we're getting them from our mob drops. But, uh, once we've done that, uh, I like to be able to move my animals around a little bit, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna craft ourselves a golden lasso. We need some string, some gold nuggets, and an iron vendor. Pretty simple to craft. Well, let's see, We've, uh, we do have some gold nuggets, and I think we have string. Oh yes, yeah, so there it is. So, We'll craft an eye of Ender. And there's a golden lasso. And this will behave just kind of like a safari net. Pick a mob up with it. And then, uh, right click again and we'll place it down. So, we just gotta wait a while. Um, we might need to 
temporarily disable our mob farm over here so that it doesn't hog up the uh, spawn cap for us. So we'll give it a little bit of time and uh, wait to see if we get some, some critters. So I think that's uh, probably a good place to end this episode. Right here we've, uh, we've got to start on our bedrockium production. I think in the next episode we'll activate our division sigil. And uh, as for now we've got our field of grass. Uh, I might off camera go in and uh, just widen it out a bit. Make it a little bit uh, larger space. Uh, maybe have it fill a couple of chunks. And we get some... Uh, Hopefully we'll get some animals uh, spawning out there, so we can mutilate and otherwise do horrifying experiments on them and uh, eat their delicious tasty flesh. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and obey your alien overlords, or you will be probed in the butt with this. This is Alien Pet 13 signing off. Probe you later.